Alan, at Cable First, you're an integrator within the electronic sector with cables and also connectors. Now, you've bought one of Europe's first OPM 250L machines from Sodic, a 3D metal printing product. But tell us about the journey of Cable First. Well, the journey has been a long one. It started about 30 years ago. Uh, our core business was making cable assemblies and cable harnesses. Many years ago, we were given lots of inquiries with small grommets and small mouldings on. We had to turn them down, but eventually, after more and more inquiries came through, we thought, we've got to look into this moulding. There's a lot more to it. So, some 20 odd years ago, we actually invested in our first moulding machines and started getting into moulding products. Now, a lot of the cable assemblies that we build are actually designed by us. So, we design the cable. We actually have a manufacturing cable plant as well in Blanford in Dorset. So we can actually manufacture the cable, make the assemblies, and also with our in-house moulding facility, we can actually overmold the products. So we are really a solutions house for customers that actually are looking for different products and actually saying we want one supplier. We don't want to go to a cable company to make the cable. We don't want to go to an assembly company to put it together and then arguably a moulding company to get the job finished off. So they come to us, we fully take ownership of the product and they actually produce it. Now, with the OPM 250, uh, a lot of our business is mold tools, and the more and more tools that we're getting involved with now are more technical. So we have a tooling facility on site, we can make our own tools, but we have a problem that the tool making market and looking for new tool makers is very, very difficult. So, after a lot of decision and a lot of hard thinking we decided to actually buy the OPM 250 as a replacement for tool makers because we just physically can't get them anymore so we've actually spent the money in investing in the OPM 250 to actually give us that edge over our competitors and actually say yep we want to be at the forefront of technology so we've invested the money and I said right this is really what we want to do we want to be ahead of the game and actually give our customers the facilities that we can now offer by coming up with a product and being able to tool it, design it, and actually print the tools on this machine, and actually so we can get this into production and bring where normally you're looking at a, anywhere between a 10 to 16 week lead time on, on some technical tooling, we can bring that right down to arguably a number of weeks if needed. So that is really where we've sort of come from. That's where we think we're going to head, and the OPM 250, I think, is going to give us that head start over everybody else in the UK at the moment.